boils down to loving yourself, knowing that you are beautiful in your own unique way. And when you do that, it, it just exudes. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. like ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Today, we are talking about how to style for your body type. Okay, so just to start off, I am a firm believer that really you should just wear whatever makes you feel the best version of yourself, whatever makes you feel the most comfort confident. I just want to share the more physical aspect of styling to really help people be aware, to really accentuate what we already have. So number one thing before you do anything else is know your body type. Figure out what your body type is. So for me, I know that I am a rectangular body shape and I am a regular size. For body types, there's about six different body types and, and they're all described in totally different ways. My favorite way to describe body types is by shape. So the six body types that I'm going to be using here today are the triangle body shape, inverted triangle, rectangle, hourglass, diamond, and rounded or oval. Along with that, the sizes or the size types that go with kind of, kind of partner with the body type are petite, tall, regular, and plus size. For body type or body shape, um, ultimately, I think you can just look at yourself in the mirror and basically figure out what uh, body shape you really fall under. Easily see that I'm a rectangular because my chest to hip ratio is pretty even. There's no real curves going on. And then as for sizing, I am 5'5", so I know that I fall within the regular sizing. Basically how you figure that out is petite is five foot three and smaller. Regular is five five to five seven and tall is five eight and taller. For plus size, anybody that's a size eight and above, I always thought it was a size 10 or 12 and above, but the next thing to keep in mind is balance. So as humans, we're obsessed with balance. We're obsessed with the idea of balance. Okay, so the example that I'm gonna use is the triangle body type or the pear body type, I guess some people call it, which is gonna be your smaller chest, smaller you know, shoulders, upper half um, with the curvier bottom half. So if this was me, the way that I would style a look, maybe just a super tight, flattering pair of vintage high-waisted jeans that are maybe in a slim or a straight. I don't think you have to go crazy on the top. I think you could simply wear something like maybe it's a tight white t-shirt with a v-neck uh, tucked into the high waist, you know, wanting to keep that waistline. That's super important. And then maybe putting on like an oversized blazer. The blazer will kind of add the volume to the top but then the v-neck and the tightness of the white shirt will add that attraction to the top half and then the bottom half with the high-waisted vintage jeans just accentuates the amazing beautiful curves that you have on the bottom because i don't think you should be hiding that don't let me be seeing you covering up those beautiful hips girl no let's let's do another example let's say we're talking about the diamond body shape so for me like an outfit that i would absolutely love to see on this body type just getting some low-waisted trousers you know maybe some wide leg that are really long and you could wear some heels with to kind of add that height and just have that really nice just effortless drape off the hip and then pairing it with either like a v-neck shirt or maybe it's even a button-up shirt you know that you button down and then pairing that as well with like maybe some amazing oversized blazer or even maybe it's a fitted blazer with this you could maybe go with a fitted blazer that cinches in a little bit more at the waist and then what's what's amazing for the season is belting the blazer so putting a belt on the outside of the blazer and cinching in at the waist so this is a super on trend look super flattering you can implement the same sort of idea on any sort of outfit otherwise you could go the other way as well and really just balance it all out maybe some wider shoulders 
with you know the low waisted trousers and just stuff that drapes really nicely over the midsection and gives you that more rectangular shape and adding just that full on balanced look. There's also that direction you can go in as well. I think like a lot of contemporary looks pull this off. Okay, and then just one more example for balance. Let's talk about the inverted triangle. For an inverted triangle, if it was me, I would probably go with wearing something that's like a crew neck or a turtleneck, very understated on the top, but just very tight and elegant. But then for the bottom half, going with, again, the high-waisted, I just love high-waisted. So adding the high-waisted bottom, uh, whether it's jeans or pants, and making it wide leg or flare will add some volume to the bottom half. And the high waisted with the belt will accentuate the waist and add sort of that element of curves. Not to keep using high waisted uh, bottoms as the example, but I do just think that it is such a great way to really add dimension to a look. The next thing I wanna talk about is playing with perspective. We could spend, ugh, we could do a whole, I could do a whole video series on playing with perspective. Um, I think every, obviously fashion and style is, it all comes down to perspective, doesn't it? Um, so what I mean about this for today, for specifically for today, is more speaking to, let's say, your sizing. So an example of this is somebody that is petite, everything that they are styling on their body should be elongating their body. Now, if you're somebody that's petite and you love that you look petite and you love that you look short and you wanna just look short and cute and like somebody could just pick you up and put you in their pocket, then that's fine, then own that and I love that and keep it, keep it going. Keep it, keep it moving. If it does bother you that you are petite and you feel like you would feel better being tall, then yeah, there's nothing wrong with playing with perspective. Let's just get into an example. So if you are a petite person, a shorter person, I would stay away from longer tops. So tunic tops, long tops, because of the fact that what that's ultimately doing is it's cutting your legs off. And your legs are the stem of your body. The flower would be nothing without its stem. It's a weird thing to think about, but you wanna almost compartmentalize your body a little bit. You want to basically show your different body parts off, if that makes sense. So, for an example, if you're petite, get yourself on the bandwagon of high-waisted jeans or high-waisted bottoms, because what this is gonna do is it's gonna elongate your legs. It's gonna elongate the body. And then wearing those high-waisted jeans or bottoms with, you know, like a crop top or a really nice tight gauzy shirt that's tucked into the, um, that's tucked in at the top and just really keeping that waistline will really help you to look taller. Now, obviously, if you then combine that with heels and a long coat, all that kind of stuff will help to elongate your body. Now, if you're tall, it's basically the opposite. If you're tall, yes, wear those long tops because it will help basically cut off a bit of the length. Um, if you're tall, you most likely have these beautiful lanky legs and I think for the most part, if that was me, I would be showing off those beautiful lanky legs all day, every day. But some people, some people are self-conscious of that. Okay, the next one is just owning it. Owning what you have. Stop trying to run away from it. Um, just own it and show it off. I know I'm a rectangle body shape. I know it, I own it. I know I'm never gonna look like Kim Kardashian. I'm never gonna look like JLo. I'm fine with that, completely completely fine with that. So as an example, let's talk about oval. Let's talk about the round body shape. Maybe it's a tight, tight v-neck, you know, with some high-waisted belted bottoms. Maybe it's wide leg, maybe it's flares, maybe it's straight leg. Owning it, owning the, those beautiful curves. Love it. Maybe get some shapewear that will kind of help add some shape to the oval shape. Maybe add a little bit of dimension, add a little bit of curves and cinch at the waist with a really tight dress. Like, girl, stop thinking you have to be hiding behind some flopsy dress. Tight, tight, tight. All about tight. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. Mm-mm. And then, you know, pairing that with like a cropped 
jacket to really, again, show off those curves, own it, flaunt it. I think we've pretty much covered all the body shapes. Um, I think the only one I haven't really touched on is the hourglass body shape, but you're annoying and nobody wants to talk about you. So <laughs> just kidding, kind of. Um, no, I mean, hourglass figure basically yeah, you're balanced. You can pretty much wear anything you suck. So, um, just kidding. Whatever you are, just remember you're beautiful, you're amazing, and you've got this. I think my main message of what this channel is about, what I really like to talk about is, is, is being confident in yourself, is, is owning who you are really wanting to wear the things that you love and that make you feel good. It's not about what I think you should wear or what other people think you should wear, but I do think it's great that we can inspire each other and really building each other up to be the best versions of ourselves. I would love to hear from you in the comments below, uh, whether this was helpful, um, if there's anything that you would like to add for others, or if there's any questions you have for your particular body type, I would love to hear from you. Please definitely comment below. Um, see what others are saying. Have a conversation. Talk to, if you see somebody else that has the same body type as you, open up that conver conversation. As always, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with friends, and for sure subscribe for future weekly episodes. Okay, you have an amazing rest of your day and we will be chatting soon. Bye.